Hello everyone. Welcome to the tutorial on how to generate ad units or multiple ad units all at once after the generate tags tab has been deprecated by Google on Google Ad Manager. So it only makes sense to use that feature because if, for example, you're running multiple ad units, which most of us do, in every single page of the site or in every page. So let's say I have this ad unit and I have this ad unit another one let's say here so they would have a single header tag right all of them three of them defined in a header tag but because there's no generate tags uh, feature anymore you will have to do them one by one so instead of generating it once you will have to do it three times this time because you have three ad units so here's the solution to that you can open this tool, um, just type in on your browser, dfpgpt.appspot.com. You need to sign in with the email address you're using to access your Google Ad Manager account. Now, here's the interesting part. The GPT settings will have to be done here. Then you will have to put in your ad unit code, sizes, and other custom targeting, other settings in here later. So for the tag type, you have the option whether you want a sync, sync, you want to do a passback tag, simplify URL, or AMP. So let's say we'll do a, uh, asynchronous for this tutorial. Now you need your network ID. So there are three places where you can find your network ID. You can grab it from the URL on your Google Ad Manager account. You can also find it underneath or just below the network name. Or if you go to admin global settings, you can find the network code here. So go to the DFP tag generator and tester and paste it in there. And this time, if you have some page level key value targeting that you want to implement, you also need to put it in here. And the format should follow that exactly on the pop-up box. So key equals value and then uh, just follow through. So um, you also have the option to disable single request or enable single request. What is it? So let's click this. Now, this allows better page load performance in some cases. So with single request, um, instead of requesting each ad separately, there's going to be a single call. Okay, so these kind of tags will call all of the ads on a page at once in the header of your content. So if you want to enable, keep that turned on. Now, you also have the option to enable advanced options. And if you noticed, as soon as I turned it on, there's another box here. All right, then you have some page level content exclusion if you have labels, um, publisher ID, page level pub ID, and GPS and all that. Settings, collapse empty divs, initial load, and a lot of those. Now, what if I try to enable size mapping? You can also do that. And if you notice, there's another box in here. So you can give it a name for your variables and then specify your viewport size. Um, so there's always a guide, a pop-up box, every time you hover your mouse on that field. So you just go ahead, follow, and then what are the sizes eligible to serve depending on the viewport size? Then you can add more variables as you wish in here specify again the viewport size and the ad sizes eligible for that if you turn on adx ads and settings there's another box here where you can also um, specify page urls channel ids adsense ui elements you can also have it in here if you turn on video vast or video tag it's going to give you this box as well, where you can turn on master companion, uh, allow non-companion ads, and all other settings for video. So if you don't want to enable advanced options and your, let's say your setup is just pretty straightforward, then you can just turn it off. Okay, and let me just show you very quickly. Earlier when we enabled size mapping, notice that there's another column here or field in the ad unit code, wherein you are going to specify which mapping or variable is this ad unit going to follow. 
So, pretty simple. So let me just go ahead and disable advanced options for now. Now let's start generating our add unit codes. So let's go to inventory add units and let's say I'm going to generate the tag for this or let's choose another one. Okay, this time biglike.com, grab the add unit code, put it in here and what are the sizes for this? So you just have to follow. First it has fluid, which is the fluid native size. It has a 300 by 250, 336. Okay, there you go. Perfect. And then you also have the 728 and 970 by 250. All right. Now, if you have um, an add unit level targeting or KVP, then you will have to specify it here. Otherwise, you can just skip it. If this add unit is out of page, you can turn this on. If you want to force safe frame, turn this on as well. To add another add unit that you would like to generate at once, along with this add unit or this right here, just click plus. Then again, add your add unit code. So let's say um, for this one, uh, Let's just take this as an example. So grab the add unit code, paste it in there. Again, the sizes, it has one by one and 728 by 90. Separate it by a comma. So I just press comma and then accepted, it accepted the value for me, and then 728 by 90. Okay, so let's say for example, you're done adding all the add units you would like to generate at once. You can click on generate text. Now here's one of the things I want you to notice. You have now the direct URL or the unique URL generated for you. you can grab it from here or it's also right here. Let me prove to you that you can access it anywhere and if, even if you're not logged in. So if you share it with a friend, with a colleague, you can go ahead and open it. So let's open an incognito window, paste it, and there you go. So you can see the header tag and the body tag as well. So let's go ahead and close this. Now, here you can copy the head code to clipboard so you don't have to like highlight everything and miss out on some lines. You can just go ahead and click this and it will copy it for you. Just paste it wherever you want. Then the body tag, you can also do the same. You can copy the code to clipboard right there. And if you go further down the page, you will actually have the live ads in here. Right now, I don't have it um, serving on my end because obviously this is a test account and we don't have any line items or orders targeting these ad units. So ideally, you're going to have some of the live examples here. If you want to refresh the live ads, you can click this link. You also have the QR code for mobile if you want to view it or preview the ad on mobile. And then you can open Google Publisher Console straight from here or open an external test page. So if you notice, it's pretty much the same. Uh, you still have the unique URL, but this time it's uh, a little bit cleaner. You only have the header tag and a body tag and some of the live tag example right there. And you also have the short URL link. All right. So you go further down the page, you're going to see your original settings. Everything that we have set up earlier, you're going to see it there, right there. While using this tool, you might uh, encounter more features and discover more um, you know, exciting things about this tool. And would love to hear from you guys. Thanks. That concludes our video for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get updates on our latest videos. See you next time!